Hi yogis, welcome to Yoga with Mesa and welcome to day three of your eight days of evening yoga. Today I have a 10 minute practice for you that will be themed around the heart and opening the heart and softening the heart maybe for those of us who have had a rough day, a long day, a stressful day. The intention of practice today is to, to rest, to relax, to de-stress. Um, uh, just one option, if you want to invite a prop into your practice, you can reach for a pillow or a block if you have one, just for this first pose. You don't need one, but it might be nice if you want to open a little deeper into the heart to begin. So, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and come into your reclined butterfly. So, the feet come to touch, knees are out wide, and then if you have a block, it's going to be on the earth between where your shoulder blades are. So then you just wrap your shoulder blades around that prop and then allow them to just melt over the top of it. If you don't have any props, that's perfectly fine. Just come down onto the earth and then kind of walk your, like scoop your shoulders underneath so that that heart is propped up even just a little bit. And then maybe you wanna bring one hand to your heart and one to your belly just to really help tune into the heart early on in your practice. Wherever you are is perfect. It is exactly where you're supposed to be. Let's take a deep breath in to ground into our space. Fill all the way up with air. Exhale, let it go. One more deep breath in. And out. Biggest breath of your day, all the way full of air. Release your day. Beautiful, let your breath find its organic rhythm in and out of the nose without controlling the breath. If you'd like to set an intention for your practice, you can choose anything that calls to you. The intention I'm going to offer for practice today is I am worthy of receiving love, or I am worthy of being loved. I'm worthy of love, whatever resonates with you. Just know you are so worthy of love in every form you could ever receive it. Any amount of love you could ever receive, you are worthy of every single drop, my friends. Take a deep breath in to seal that into your practice. I am worthy of love, receiving love, being loved. And let it go. Inhale, use your hands to help wrap around your thighs and then hug them in together. So just bring them in nice and easy. Inhale, hug your knees into your chest, release your low back. Exhale, roll your knees over to the side and let's press ourselves up. We're gonna transition onto the hands and knees. So shoulders over wrists, hands over knees. And we're gonna really start to open into the heart here. Just keep your hips stacked over the top of your knees and then just let your hands walk forward. Melt your heart towards the earth. Puppy pose. Feel your heart really starting to open and your shoulders feeling a nice deep stretch. If you wanna invite a tricep stretch in here, you can bring your palms to touch and then bring a bend into your elbows till you feel that stretch in the triceps. A few rounds of breath in your puppy pose, your melting heart pose. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Couple more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. If you took that tricep stretch, ground your palms, press into your palms, and then walk your hands underneath your shoulders. 
Plant your left palm at the center of your space. Inhale, reach your right hand to the sky. So twisting your spine, opening your heart. Exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left. Reach towards the left side of your space. Keep that right shoulder lifted once more. Inhale, reach your right hand high. Exhale, thread your right arm under your left. Soften your right shoulder to the earth. Hips are still stacked over the knees. Inhale, reach your left hand high if that is available for you. And then exhale, option to wrap your left hand behind your back, reaching for that right inner thigh. That left hand is always welcome to stay by the face or you can reach it towards the top of your mat for a little more shoulder stretch. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. If you took that bind, gently unwind. Plant your left palm on the earth. Inhale, reach your right hand up, pressing into that left palm. Exhale, release. Right palm meets the center of your space. And let's do that on the other side. Inhale, reach your left hand high. Exhale, thread your left arm underneath your right. Reach towards the right side of the, your space. Inhale, left fingers, reach tall. Exhale, thread it through. Soften your left shoulder to the earth. Option to keep your right hand where it is. Reach it towards the top of your space or inhale, reach high. Exhale, go for a bind, bending the elbow, then taking that right hand or reaching for the inner left thigh crease. Hips stay stacked over knees. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, if you have that bind, peel your heart open a little more. Exhale, release your bind, plant your right palm back by your face. Inhale, untwist, reach your left hand to the sky. Exhale, release, left palm to the earth. And then walk your hands forward, soften your forearms to the earth and then shift your hips forward, belly to the earth, sphinx pose. Here you wanna energetically guide your elbows towards the back of your space as you create length in your spine. Feel a gentle compression in your low back. Let's take about five rounds of breath here in our sphinx pose. Tune into your heart, tune into that stillness within you that each of us has access to. Remember, that intention, you are so worthy of love, of being loved, receiving love, all of the love you could ever receive. One more breath in. Exhale. Keep those forearms where they are and just rock your hips back over your knees to your puppy pose. Press into your palms and walk your hands back. Walk your knees forward until you come onto the shins. Hips are on top of your heels. And we're gonna go into our baby camel pose. So for baby camel, Place your hands behind your hips, onto the fingertips, and as you press into your fingertips, just roll your shoulders back, shoulders back. Press your heart forward, chin to the sky. You're welcome to not do the chin to the sky if that's a little sensitive on your head and your neck, and just do the heart opening, but if you want to open it in the front of the throat, let the head hang heavy. Breathe into the sensations that arise here. We spend so much of our day rounded forward. How does it feel to be opening up to the world? Breathe it in and breathe it out. One more deep breath in. Exhale, gently release. 
Walk your hands forward, melt over your thighs to release your low back. Kind of surrender to the pose. Inhale, press into your palms and rise up. And then transition into your easy seat where we can seal our practice together. If you want to continue resting, my friends, you're welcome to take any final resting pose you'd like. If you had a long day, that is completely up to you. And in fact, I encourage it. But if you are ready to seal your practice, guide your hands to that beautiful heart of yours that you have just filled with so much love. And now that it is open, can you receive a little love from yourself? Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Thank you, yogis, for joining me. Thank you for showing yourselves this beautiful love that you so, so much deserve. All of the love, light, and darkness in me sees and honors that in each of you. Namaste. Thank you again, sweet, sweet yogis. If you enjoyed day three of your eight days of evening yoga, then I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day four. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening and I'll see you very soon.